12 gigabytes of RAM on a mid-range phone. Now that is pretty darn impressive. Hey guys, it's Khaled here and welcome back to another video. So today we have further leaks on the OnePlus Nord provided by the man himself, the genius, the leak star, Ev Leaks. So do check his Twitter out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Just a quick disclaimer, these are still leaks and not 100% confirmed by OnePlus, so they might differ when the phone is fully unveiled on the 21st of July. All right, so let's get straight into the video. And the first thing I need to mention is 12 gigabytes of RAM on a mid-range phone. Now that is highly impressive. So it comes with two different configuration, eight and 12 gigabytes, along with the storage option of 128 gigabytes, moving all the way up to 256. Also, we'll be getting a Snapdragon 765G processor, which will have 5G compatibility, along with a 6.44 inch Fluid AMOLED screen, which will have 90 Hertz refresh rate. Now for a mid-range phone, that is definitely a welcoming change not quite as high as 120 but i'll take 90 over 60 any day and it also have a ppi 408 and the resolution will be full hd plus with an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. we will have three color variants so they come in blue marble gray onyx and gray ash also charging wise we have 30 watt walk charging along with a battery capacity of 4115 milliamp hour now a lot of people might be saying that it's a bit too low especially considering 5g but the 765g processor that has a modem embedded onto the chipset is very efficient so it should do power management quite well and we should be getting a day or two push that a stretch so already the specs are looking quite good and if they can nail the under 500 dollar mark then it will be a phone that most people will find hard to resist and definitely could be one of the best sellers of the year 2020 and this phone will also have a six camera setup now that's more than the flagship oneplus 8 pro and oneplus 8 so starting off with the back of the phone we have a quad array camera system the first sensor being a 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 along with a 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, 5 megapixel depth sensor and a macro lens at 2 megapixel. Now I would have preferred a dual camera system which has excellent sensors and produces really good quality on the main camera along with a decent ultra wide camera but you know we still have to see it's not all about the sensor it depends on the software and how they both work as well but the camera department hasn't always been OnePlus its strong point. Moving to the front of the phone, we will have a pill-shaped cutout that houses the dual camera, so the primary being 32 megapixel along with a 8 megapixel wide camera. Now, for those of you who look like supermodels, this is the plus point as you'll pick up all that beauty, but if you're hideous and have a lot of blemishes like me, then uh, yeah, I can't send any more selfies to the Galdon, so definitely need to install Photoshop. All right, anyway, closing off the video, just a few more specifications to point out. So we will have Oxygen OS 10. It will weigh in around 185 grams and features will include NFC, Bluetooth 5.1, the Cine aspect ratio of 20 by nine, and also will have linear motion vibration. All right, guys, so that's the specification of the OnePlus Nord. I can't wait for this phone. I did try to order it on the 1st and 8th of July, but I was too slow because guys out there are just super fast. Um, I don't know how they do it, but if I do get it in, then I'll be doing a review, unboxing, and a long term review as well. If you like this video or want more content from this channel, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and if you have any questions, do leave it in the comment section below. As always, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.